G'day guys, Butcher Benny T here again um, with a follow on from the last, oh, three videos actually. Um, this is the last of a lamb, so I'm going to do the legs and I'll leave the chumps on. So um, in this one, I'll do one half, I'll do an easy carve leg of lamb and then in a follow up one, I'll butterfly this leg of lamb. So we'll start on this anyway. And what I'll do, I'll flip him up, put my arm in there and I'll cut down here through his through his hips, just there. And then to get this leg off, if you, I'll just sharpen this knife. If you come around here, I'll go in there. Now there's a join where the, where the, there's a join in the hip. So go in a bit and you can see, I'll open that up and just show you. You can see where that bit of cartilage is there. So my knife will go through that and that'll get the tailbone out. That just opens up through that and out that comes. So that's, that leg off and then I'll do the same this side through that get to that bit of cartilage and that'll come off and that'll take the whole tail out there's the tail out of him so we'll chuck that away hang this one back up for the later video and we'll get a start on our easy calf so for this we'll take this bit of skirt out Get rid of that. We'll get, we'll, that'll probably go into sausages or whatever. So, trim that bit of fat out there. This bit of fat off here. This is just something you do. You, you probably wouldn't do it every time, but if you wanted to look a bit fancy or you had friends coming over and you wanted to look like you were a pro, you could um, do one of these up. I'll have a crack at it at least. They look pretty, they look pretty good when they're done. So... Just trim a bit of that. You want to leave that there for now and just see, see how it comes out. Righty-o, oh, to get this bone out, there's our hip. And it comes down and around there. So we'll start up here with the knife. Just use the tip of your knife. You don't need to stick it right through and shove it through the other side. Open the bone up so you can see the shape of it. There it is there. Down in here there's a, a ball joint where his leg joins into his hip. We'll open that out. As we go, there it is there. Just keep working the point of your knife. You don't need a, there's no, no rush to get it out. Take your time. Get this pin out here, it sort of goes up into the muscle, the point of his hip. Take that through there. That's out. Let's have to chuck that there. Trim that bit of stuff off there. Righty-o. And what I'm going to do, you could just cut right through, um, bone it, but I'm a fan of tunnel boning, so I'm going to tunnel bone this. So, you want to get around this um, ball joint up in here. Just use the point of your knife and work around that bone because that bone runs up there and joins into his knee up here. So you want to just work your knife around that. It's a little bit tricky, it takes a little bit of time, but it gives you a better finish once you're done. So just point your knife, just feel your way around the bone. If you're on the bone, you're not gonna you're not gonna do any damage. Just get him off there, free him off. Let's free up in there. Now what I'll, what I'll do, I'll put a little cut in here, up where his knee is. Because that's, we, wanted, we want that bone to come out of there. There's the other end of that bone, you can see him there. While we're up here, we'll take his kneecap out. That's up in here. That's gone. Then you just want to work your knife around this one. Same deal. Just use a pointy knife and just free that off.
I hope you made a little bit there if you need it. Keep working it around. Cut through that tendon on the leg joint there. This is nearly it's nearly just the bare bone holding on now, there's no tendons or anything. Should be able to grab it and spin it, which is a bit tricky. If it doesn't work, just um, keep going with your knife, but it should come out like that. There we go, that's pretty good clean bone. Now I want to take this the end of his um, knuckle off here. So I'll just use the hand saw. That's gone. You could put a little bit of seasoning in there. I'm not going to bother. I'll just start stringing him up now. Right, now, so grab your string. Same as I always do, I always start in the middle. Not in there. Using the red string again because we don't we don't have to buddy get it overly tight. Because it is still a full it is still a full leg, so it'll hold together pretty well. One in there. Now you'll see that string wants to slide off, keep sliding off there. All I'd do, put a little nick in the fat there. Get that string to go in that bit of, in that little nick we've put in. That'll hold in there then. There it is. Loop that off. There we go. Go to this end. Same again. It's not too tight. You don't need to. Don't need to do them too tight. Put one in the middle. You could put two in here, but. Like I said, it's still a whole piece of meat, so um, there's not really a need to do that. Get him in the middle, roughly. Get him across there a little bit. There we go. Loop that off. One more in here. There we go. One last thing, we don't need any more string there. But what I will do is take this off. We'll clean that up, clean that bit of bone up. That just makes it look professional, so to speak. So there we have it, an easy carved leg of lamb, easy to slice, or oh, you've got that one sh uh, shank bone in there, so if you're cutting it up you can hold him there and just slice her up, uh, pretty neat fancy looking leg if you were doing a dinner party or whatever, um, anyway, 
there we have it. Thanks again for watching. Um, hope you've picked something else up again here. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers.